even India is experimenting with yeah. hydrogen now. And um, then, you know, countries like, uh, so places like Ladakh would become very important. Mm -hmm. uh, because um, you need, uh, so how is green hydrogen produced, for example? And I'll just go to China has a, in the Tibetan plateau, it has laid huge arrays of solar. Mm -hmm. uh, from that solar, you uh, convert. There's, there is methods and processes, machinery, that converts into hydrogen fuel which uh, you have to liquefy in order for it to. So these all things are not uh, done in a proper way yet. But maybe another 15 years or yeah. even less than that, we can find how to do it more efficiently and more cheap. Mm -hmm. Because right now it's expensive to do all this. So then this cold regions actually, so intensity of sunlight is there. So you don't need heat yeah. for solar, you need intensity. So it's intense sunlight which can be converted, so that's green energy, mm. and it can be split, uh, you know, and then, uh, split your water, or uh, and then you can get hydrogen out of it, and then you can liquefy that hydrogen, and then make it into fuel and use it. And that can go in from pipelines and mm. all of that. So now China's already, into uh, that. yeah, they are already well into that route. Ladakh op provides us that opportunity. It's a cold desert. Mm. It can uh, have this kind of an array of solar from where we can convert into hydrogen. So it can become a strategic location for us for many reasons.